Hey guys, I'm Faye and this is Day with Faye. Today I'm going to be doing yet another Kylie Cosmetics swatch. I got a new background. If this is your first time to my channel and you like my vibe, I would love for you to subscribe. If you haven't already, it means a lot. Timestamps are in the description below for when certain swatches begin and end. I got you guys. So for this video, I am not doing new releases, but they are new to me and new to my channel. First of all, Kylie Cosmetics came back out with the Valentine's Lip Kit, which I think was from 2017. And I did not get this when it first came out. I think back then I chose Head Over Heels versus this one. But since it got re-released, I was like, let me get my hands on it. And then I've gotten so many swatch comparison requests for Libra. And at first, when I looked at Libra, I was like, this is going to be way too light for my fair skin. So I never bought it. But since so many people keep asking me for swatch comparisons with it, I'm like, okay, maybe it does look good with fair skin. Let's find out. So I got Libra. And then I got Hazel because there was like a two for 20. And I was like, let me find another one that I'm open to trying. And Hazel was that. Okay, so I got these three for you guys. So let's get swatching. I think I'm gonna first start with Libra. And Libra is a muted pink nude. But at least we try. At least we try. And it don't take much to want. So when I first put this on, I was like, this is too light. I'm starting to get a little bit used to it. I put more blush on my face because I was like, this kind of is just a little bit too light for me. So I think that my concerns were pretty justified. I'm warming up to it. I think I might put like a liner underneath it to make it just a little bit more dark, but I need to think about what liner to put underneath it. So if you guys have a liner that you use to just make Libra just a tinge more darker, hit me up in the comments below. I really wanna know. So it's definitely not like a shade that I'm like, oh my God, I'm so obsessed, I have to buy this. So if you do like intense ass makeup look on your eyes pretty frequently and you have fair skin, then I think that this is a nice kind of balance between the two looks. But if you keep it pretty minimal like I do, then I don't know, it's not really, a hate or a love, it's kind of just like in the middle. So yeah, so on to the next color. The next color is Hazel, which is a warm nude. And it don't take much to want you. So honestly, at first again, when I put this on, I was like, I don't know how I like how it looks, but you let it dry a little bit, it gets a little bit darker, and honestly, I am really feeling it. I think that this is pretty unique. I was trying to find other shades to compare it to, and the closest things I could find was Butternut, which I don't have, and uh, Pumpkin, which I do have, I'm gonna compare it against that. But honestly, I think that this is a pretty unique shade. I personally think that this uh, lipstick looks good with this color outfit that I'm wearing right now. So you're like terracottas, all that jazz. I'm super pleasantly surprised. I can't believe I took a long time to try this. I think this came out in fall of 2017. And just for whatever reason, I just didn't think that it would look good on fair skin. So I just skipped out on it. But I actually think that it does look good on fair skin. I think that if you want something that's unique and you wear a lot of terracottas, you wear a lot of browns, I think this is the color for you. So next up, we're gonna head up to our last color, which is Valentine. And Valentine, I describe as like a neon rosy pink color. Okay, so honestly, I really, really love this color. I think that this is beautiful. I love the neon colors. I think neon colors are really good with fair skin. I am curious to see how this compares with other neon colors that I have. I do personally believe that it's gonna be 
pretty distinct. I'm sad I missed out on it, but it's better late than never. So I'm glad I have this in, in my collection now and I highly recommend getting this one. Obsessed. Now on to the swatch comparisons. Let's go. Okay, so this is French Kiss, this is Libra, and this is One Wish. Now, I definitely feel like Libra is very different from these two. French Kiss is peachier than Libra, and One Wish is more of a pinkier nude than Libra. Libra is more nude than pink. So now we're gonna compare Hazel and Pumpkin. So this is Hazel, and this is Pumpkin. And just like I expected earlier in the video, Hazel is very unique and different to Pumpkin. These are not similar in any way. So now we're gonna do the colors that I'm gonna swatch with Valentine. Next up, I have on Wednesdays, Valentine and All Nighter. Again, super different from each other. I think that Valentine is a very unique color to the Kylie Cosmetics collection. So that concludes my video. I hope that this was really informational for you and helpful, and if it was, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. What are your guys' thoughts on these shades? What kind of Kylie Cosmetics videos do you want to see from me? I love to hear your guys' input, so please comment down below. I am open ears. And also, if there's any swatch comparisons that you would like done that I did not do with these particular shades, please just comment down below and I will work on that as soon as I can. I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day. Bye!